before we get started on this video. Um, I kept having pop-up rain showers hit me every, uh, sometimes it was every 10 minutes, sometimes it was every hour and a half. It was kind of spotty. Like you'll hear me say 60 or 80% chance of rain for the next day and it was, it was cloudy and rainy every, every so often. So I couldn't really, every time I set the camera off and try to get a side shot of me building jumps, the rain would start and I didn't know how well the gopro would do in the, the water i don't have a waterproof case so you'll see a little bit of sprinkler towards the end but i apologize for all the on board action um i want to do a little bit different stuff and try to get some overhead shots and kind of get some up high shots from my house but mother nature didn't allow it so i got what i got i hope you guys enjoy it catch you later what a sight to see 80 percent chance of rain tomorrow or 60 or something, but uh, we're gonna try. We got the dozer delivered here, courtesy of Parsons Buttercross Compound. I love those guys. Thank you, Bodie. Thank you, Cooksey, everybody. I got Pop's tractor up here, which is about an hour away. So people who don't know, I live in about 45 minutes to an hour from my uh, dad's house. So I had to come home, get this, or come home, get the Cummins, go back to Bloomington, come back up here, and then Bodie got here. Both of us been going since about 6.30 this morning, so it's cool to have it uh, have it here. So, got about three, three and a quarter acres to work with. Um, we're gonna do what we can before the sun goes down, and then uh, we'll see what the morning brings, I reckon. Let's go see the track. Go find them molds, Bubba. Come on, go get them. I know you want to. I can't remember if I mentioned it in this video or not, but my fiance's in uh, Nashville, Tennessee this weekend for a bachelorette party. So what better weekend um, to build track than this one? So I said, you're going to go out of town. You're going to come home to a track. So, I pushed dirt last night until about 11 p.m. And then I just hit a wall. I was tired. I had to get off the dozer. But uh, basically, I got a four and a half foot, five foot difference in grade from this part of my yard to this part of my yard. Previous owner of the house tried cutting this all down, robbing dirt, and taking it and doing something with the front of my foundation, which it didn't work. I got to fix it too. Anyways, I figure I'm just going to make this all even and flat and let it drain properly and probably make it drain back through here and back through one of these cuts so i'm trying to fix my yard as i'm building jumps so not sure how well it's going to go but look at that face it ain't even close to done but son of a my god that's wild it's gonna be a cinder
took me longer to cut this little slope in. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but I have a little slope cutting from top up there all the way down here. So that way I can take it down and drain to my bottom yard. Because that yard down there soaks up water really good. And up here, you know, I don't want to just sit here, but yep. The one thing when you're building a track, if you don't have a GPS and you don't have dirt getting delivered to you, if you're cutting and grading, you always have to think about where that water's gonna go. And obviously water goes to where you know, the lowest, lowest level. So always keep that in mind. Don't just dig a hole or if you start scraping dirt, sometimes you gotta go you know, 300 foot back just to get a little bit higher so you can cut just enough off the top to push. Because if, if you might just look like a little hump, a big long hump in someone, a field or a yard or whatever, and that one little hump can give you all kinds of dirt. Like I push this dirt up, all this dirt from right here. This little area over there and here. I mean, this isn't even a, this isn't even an acre. This might be a, maybe an acre I push dirt, but really the only, it's probably a quarter acre that I push from. So, one thing to keep in mind. First laps on track, shook everything down, made sure everything was to spec how I wanted it. Um, a few things I'm gonna fine tune, but nothing too crazy. And now I'm gonna go back and grade all the ruts I made today, uh, and then let it rain this week and pack it. That way, the, everything can compact and make it harder, and then I can do changes after that. Because if I change anything right now that's off the dirt, it could get really sketchy. So <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go down and repack and regrade and uh, let it rest. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.